Welcome to www.grandpadoesgrandma.com. Today's topic: Grandpa Does Grandma, the ABCs of Senior Sex. Grandpa Does Grandma, the ABCs of Senior Sex, is a sexual romp through the alphabet. It's about a sexual sunrise in our golden years. It's about acknowledging and confirming that we're never too old to enjoy our bodies and the pleasure we derive from exploring and fulfilling one another. It's coming to the realization that as we age, intercourse and orgasm have become less important in our quest for sexual gratification. Grandpa does grandma is about reveling in what we've earned in respect, perseverance, and taking pride in what we've accomplished by living well. This book offers insightful A to Z advice, solutions, and tantalizing tips to seniors, encouraging couples that the sexual, passionate feelings they had when they were young can be maintained at any age. It is highly entertaining, informative, providing wit, wisdom, as well as a positive spin to sex in one's golden years. Grandpa does Grandma offers steamy suggestions that certainly will supercharge the sex lives of seniors. Here's what I've learned. Men and women differ significantly on their sexual points of view. While men are quick to describe sex as a physical activity, women, on the other hand, consider sex from an emotional perspective. The challenge that presented itself was how to write this book in a way that acknowledges both genders. Most surprising of all were the women who conjured up unbelievable fantasy names for their spouses or partners' private parts. In doing research for Grandpa Does Grandma, I spent considerable time browsing in the relationship and sexuality section and the magazine section of the bookstore. It was obvious that most sex books focus on positions, frequency, and orgasms. How unrealistic! Naked pictures of brushed, lean, and youthful bodies are a poor representation for those of us that have aged gracefully, can no longer contort our bodies as they would suggest. And at this stage in our lives, have more diverse activities and focusing on unrealistic sex. Set yourself free from the expectations of others and begin to follow the expectations you establish for yourself. Life is not about comparing yourself to others. Aging is about deciding what is best for you and being happy with your choices. So the next time you browse the magazine section of your local bookstore, avoid the hype and promises of becoming a better you. You are great the way you are. Simply smile, pat yourself on the back, and tell yourself, "I already measure up." Sex can be pleasurable no matter what your age. One very important ingredient to achieving good sex is communication. Changes do occur as a result of normal aging in both men and women. This may cause a loss of sexual interest, especially if problems are not openly identified, discussed, and treated. Phil Parker stresses the importance of good communication while never underestimating the value of caressing, kissing, and understanding his wife's grandma feelings. He's kept that magical spark in his relationship, proving that it is possible to keep sex and passion alive in a long-term and also senior relationship. There you have it. Whatever you learn and whatever you're willing to do to enrich, strengthen, and improve love and your love life, my hope for you is to have many rewarding years ahead. To love, honor, and nurture each other. For more information on topics like this, go to www.grandpa.doesgrandma.com.